。好，去到第二十條啦，還原基本步啦，問翻 cell division 特定嘅步驟。跟住佢就問我哋啦，喺翻 PQRS 邊一個階段啦 s y s t e m c o m m i t t e 係會分開而 move 過去 opposite pole 啦。咁嚟到第二十條咧。一定要揭曉結果噶啦，究竟佢係邊一款嘅 cell division 呢？咁啊，根據幅圖啦，由於佢搣咗兩次，係連續地搣兩次咧，咁我唔使審噶啦，一定係 meiotic cell division。而喺 meiotic cell division 入面啦 s i s t e r c o m m i t t e 幾時俾人搣開呢？就喺 end phase two 嗰度俾人搣開嘅。咁啊，亦都輯返呢幅圖俾大家啦。咁啊，大家有陣時温書呢，即係誒温 cell division 嘅方法呢，其實其中一款就真係畫一次，成個步驟畫一次。你睇啲圖呢，真係都都唔實在嘅、啊、你就將成個細胞，我、啊、由佢做呢個 DNA replication， 去到呢個 prophase、metaphase、anaphase、telophase， 究竟做咗啲乜嘢？你真係畫一次嘅話呢，其實你係容易啲入腦嘅。咁啊 ，sister c o m m i t t e separate 啦，同埋 move to the opposite pole。咁呢個 end phase two 嚟嘅。咁實在其實喺二零一三年呢，佢都問過同一樣嘅嘢嘅，不過呢，就唔係俾個 graph 嚟，而係呢，俾一個咁樣嘅 cell m e e t 緊嘅 cell 嚟，就問你啦。喂，而家呢個 cell 咁嘅樣喎，究竟佢係屬於邊一個嘅 stage 啊？其實都係答緊 end phase two 嘅。咁所以睇返幅圖啦。佢屬於 meiotic cell division 嘅第二個階段，咁即係一定係屬於 S 去到 T 呢個時候啦，所以答案就係 D 啦。咁但係 end phase two 咧，仲有啲咩嘢特別想提咧？其實就係所有 end phase 咧，我都想講一講啊。因為今次就係俾個 graph 啦，再上一次就俾呢幅圖啦。咁難道下一次未問完 meiotic cell division， 未問 mitotic cell division 咯？有幾咁奇啫，係咪？咁所以啦 ，mitotic cell division 咧都有 end phase， 佢都係咧 meet 緊個 sister c o m m i t t e 嘅。咁其實呢一樣嘢呢，就係一款好容易攞嚟比較嘅一個題目嚟嘅。我問你兩者有咩特別呢？咁其實就係講緊呢個 DNA content 究竟會有冇一個轉變啊？因為始終啦，你喺 meiotic cell division 呢嘅 e n d phase two 呢，到頭來啦，個 DNA content 呢係一半咗嘅。咁但係啦 ，mitotic cell division 嘅 e n d phase 進行咗啦，嗰、那個 DNA content 呢，其實都係同個。parent cell 係一樣嘅，咁即係簡單啲嚟講咧，係一樣係不變嘅。咁呢個大家一定要留意翻，就係個 identical number to the parent cells 嘅。咁啊，去到 end phase one 啦，咁啊第一次 meet， 咁佢又唔係 meet 個 chromatid 嘅喎，佢係 meet 嗰個 homologous chromosome 嘅喎。咁所以你又諗下啦 ，end phase one 同 end phase two， 大家都係 meiotic cell division， 但係佢又有啲咩分別咧？咁所以今次真係提大家就係、是，如果真係想誒、呃、處理好 cell division 嘅題目咧，其實畫一次咧，基本功冇得妥協嘅。Question twenty is about a very fundamental concept. It's asking in the graph which period it really shows that sister comet is separate from each other to the opposite pole. At the very beginning, the question Doesn't tell you which type of cell division is it, but now we are doing the question twenty. We have to without which type of cell division is it. So it's a type of meiotic cell division. How can you know that, Mister Lerm? Because I can see that two consecutive division in the meiotic cell division, the sister chromatids separate from each other to the opposite pole during anaphase two. So that's the second stage. Of the meiotic cell division, meiotic cell division two. And in two one three MC, there was a exactly the same question about the end phase two. But at that moment, it is not talking about the graph. This diagram was given in that question, so it's talking about the diagram is shown here, and then、uh, can you tell that which stage is it? So of course we can observe that the sister comate separate. And move to the opposite pole, so that's why that's the end phase two, and that's the second stage of the meiotic cell division. So that's why the answer must be S to T for the end phase two. And I would like to talk about the other two type of end phase. One is the end phase in the mitotic cell division, and the other one is the end phase one in the meiotic cell division one. All of them they are end phase. That means the either the chromosome or the chromatid they are separate from each other. But what is the difference between them? So for the mitotic cell division, it's also the sister chromatid separate. But any difference between them? Maybe the question will ask you the DNA content after the end phase. So in the end phase two, we can see that after the end phase two, the DNA content will be halved.
But in the mitotic cell division after anaphase, the DNA content is still the same number as the parent cells. In the meiotic cell division 1, that means the anaphase 1, actually it is not separating the sister chromatin. It's separating the two members of the homologous pair. That means separating the homologous chromosome. So that's the difference among all these three anaphase. And I would like to remind that for doing the revision for the cell division chapter, so the easiest, the basic method is to draw the whole cycle for one time, two times. Make sure that you, that you really realize the behavior of the chromosome or the chromatid. You can start from the interphase and then prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and also the cytokinesis. And that's the very basic part. Remember that, no magic, only basic.